Hi, I'm Brad Leinberger here with this month's edition of Money Minute. So with all the talk about an increase in taxes and changes to the tax code coming, we want to spend some time helping you find ways to reduce your tax liability in the future. One great way to reduce the, the future tax bill that you might pay is by contributing to a Roth IRA because distributions from a Roth IRA are completely tax-free so long as you meet some basic eligibility requirements. You have to be over the age of 59 and a half, and you also have to have the account funded for at least five calendar years. So long as you meet those requirements, everything coming out of your Roth is completely tax-free, which is a great way to keep that tax bill lower in the future. So who's eligible to contribute? So for folks, the important thing is you have to have ordinary income, earned income, in order to be able to contribute. In other words, retirees who, are, who have pensions or Social Security income um, are not eligible to make the contribution. So you have to have earned income. And it also comes down to how much income you're earning in a year. So the maximum amount you can contribute annually is $6,000 per person. And if you're over the age of 50, you can contribute an extra $1,000 for a grand total of 7,000 in a year. So those income limits that I mentioned, for single filers, if your income is below 125,000, you're eligible to contribute the whole amount. If it's above 140,000, you make too much money. And if you're somewhere in that range of 125 to 140,000, you, you can make a partial contribution. If you're married filing jointly and your modified adjusted gross income is below $198,000, you can make the full contribution. If you're above $208,000, you're, you're completely phased out. And if you're in between 198 and 208, you can make partial contributions. Also, only one spouse needs to have ordinary income in order to make both spouses eligible to make the full contribution. So what happens if you're making too much money and you're ineligible? That's where some great strategies come into play, like the mega backdoor Roth strategy, and for more information on that, check out our blog post from May 6th. Also, Roth conversions can make a whole lot of sense, as well as the backdoor Roth IRA contribution strategy. Stay tuned in the next two months for Money Minute. We're going to talk about conversions and the backdoor Roth. For now, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week.